Hey Roamers, on this episode I'll show you how to build this easy DIY workstation slash dining table for your home or RV. Hey Roamers, it's Jamie back at you. Uh, what we got going today is we're going to be taking the dining room set at a Rosy 2 here and we're going to be establishing our dining room slash workstation since we're going to be moving into the RV full time. So I'm going to show you here, this is the space that we got to work with right here. Um, it's about six feet, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a desk in here. We're going to use the desk one for where we have our meals, but also where we do all of our work, editing, and things of that nature. So what I've done is I've already taken out the dining room set. I have two chairs here that I've left in uh, until we get other chairs to replace these. <laughs> Here's the dining room set, and Dexter is... Uh... Hey, Dexter. Dexter boy, what are you doing, buddy? Are you monitoring me to make sure I'm doing everything correctly? Yes, yes, you are. What I'm going to do now is in this big box is the new uh, desk slash dining room table slash workstation. I'm going to pull this out of here, get this all inside the RV, and then I'm going to get this assembled and kind of show you what I got going. All right, so I've moved all the pieces in for the desk here, our workstation, and here's the instructions. It says if you're having trouble putting this together, contact a re retailer. So I've done this before. It's not real hard. But here's all the pieces. Um, they give you a bag with screws and everything you need. And then uh, these are the side pieces. And then your back piece. And then once this all gets put together, there's a piece that mounts on this back piece that uh, for running your wires and all that kind of stuff. So it keeps it kind of neat and clean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start getting this together. And then uh, just kind of let you watch the process. Once it's all done, I'll kind of show you what we got going. Yeah, as you can see, here's a, in the instructions, it's a, an exploded view of uh, how it goes together. You got your top piece, your back, and your two sides, and then your feet. Um, not real hard to put together. So the first step is building uh, one of our sides. And here is calling out for side B. And then it has the, the foot piece. And then these are the hardware pieces you're going to need. You're going to need two of these feet. You're going to need uh, these. They screw in and then they interlock with uh, a piece that goes into the top. And then uh, this long screw. So there's a breakdown of all the pieces. So this is, that's one side completed. Um, there's these three pieces. They interlock with this piece here. Uh, basically what it does, it goes through it, and then this turns and locks it in place so it won't pull loose. And this is gonna go into, they actually go into these things here. So the top will go down through there. You twist it, it interlocks with it, and then you're kinda all set. So 
So that's one side completed. What I'm going to do now is do the other side and then I'll show you how what the next step is after that. Now that I have both sides completed, the next step here in the instructions is to mount each side piece to the back piece. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do that now. One thing that I wanted to show you is how these interlocking pieces work. If you see, there's basically what looks like a plus sign on top. But if you look at this part of the plus sign, it's a little longer than the rest of it. And the reason being is that's the part that needs to go to the side where your interlocking screw piece is going to mount to. You can see it's open there, unlike the rest of it, where it's just kind of like a channel for that to write on. So when you put these in... You want to make sure that that long side of that plus sign is facing your edge so that when you go and slide your adjoining piece in there, it's going to slide into that hole. You turn that, and that's what locks it into place. So what you do is you see these things. They're just going to slide into these holes like so. So those are in there. To lock them into place, you just take your screwdriver, You twist it and you can fill it lock in. And that's that's what keeps it locked together. And the, what's cool about that is if you ever need to take this apart and you were going to move and you wanted to store it for a little bit, you don't have to take up a whole area with, with the desk. You can actually just take it apart, move it, and then reassemble it later. Okay, so that part of it's done. Now what we need to do is we need to take these and we want to mount those in all of these holes. And then that will, in turn, we'll put those interlocking pieces on the back piece and then uh, also on the sides. And then we'll sit the top down on there and lock those all in the same way that I did the sides. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then I'll show you me putting the uh, top on there and locking that into place. So I got all the screws put in on the top side, as you can see here, just going down and all of those will interlock over here. And I put all these in, so those will slide over those screws and all I have to do is tighten them down and that'll hold it together nice and tight. I'm going to do that now and then show you what I got. So now what it shows, it shows these tracks and it looks like you line up the tracks so that the middle hole on each track 
screws into these pre-drilled holes over here. So, and this is what our track looks like. So once we have that screwed in like so, our wires can run through here and kind of sit in here. And that way you don't have a bunch of wires laying all over the floor and that kind of stuff. So, and it also has pre-drilled holes here so you can pull wires out and be able to plug those in but also keep them in the track. And then that also has these pieces up here that keeps everything lying down nice and flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get th these mounted on there and then uh, flip it over and kind of show you what we got. So now I got the desk stood up like it's gonna be uh, in the RV here. Um, I haven't slid it into position yet because there's a last step I have to do. There's these plastic pieces, and as you can see, it has these little tabs right here where you can run your wires through, or you can take the whole thing out and have your wires run through it that way. Um, so what it does, this goes on this side here, Just like that and then you have two for up here um, they work in the same manner the pop top can come out or you can just have these little tabs um, so there's one of those on each side that way if you have like computer monitors and things like that you can run the wires down through there just give you kind of a view of what it looks like when it's done um, now that it's completed I'm gonna slide it into place and then there's a couple other pieces that I purchased to go on top of this um, to make it so it'll be exactly the way we want it. Now I got the desk slid in where it's going to be. This is where it's going to stay. And as you can see, it's a tight fit. It fits just exactly um, in between this space, between the exterior wall and this uh, cabinet right here. Um, this is considered a 72-inch desk, so you just want to make sure that if you purchase one of these, to make sure and measure so you you know that you got the right size. And then like I said, this is where the wires will go. And then I have a plug. I have a plug right under here. So I can put a power strip out of there and run all my wires. So I'm gonna get the top piece that we purchased. It was a separate piece that I purchased. Uh, that's what our monitors are gonna sit on. And then I also bought a keyboard tray that can be mounted anywhere on here. It actually has some like, almost like clamps that sit on here and then you can have a keyboard tray that will slide in and out. So I'm gonna put those pieces on there now. I'm gonna go get those and kind of show you how those go. Once I'm all done with that, kind of show you the whole finished thing. This is the piece that uh, we ordered to go on the top so that we can actually have our monitors elevated a little bit. Um, got this off of Amazon. Uh, what I'm gonna do is in the description of the video, I'll list all of the things that I purchased off of say, Amazon to be able to do the workstation here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this box up and get that put together and then kind of show you how that's going to look now as you can see it's kind of the same uh, type of process they have the same type of screws and inter interlocking uh, joining pieces that kind of draw it together it's kind of just the same process just obviously different pieces and they make it real easy they actually put a little sticker labeling each piece so it's virtually impossible to make a mistake. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this, get this together, and then kind of show you what it looks like once it's all completed.
And as you can see, it's kind of the same thing, a little different. They have an arrow here showing which, which uh, side of this has to go towards the edge where the screw is going to go through. So you just put that arrow where your hole is so that way when the two pieces come together you can interlock them. One thing that they give you is they give you this, uh, it's like rubber and it has adhesive on the back and what you do is you put that, let me show you here, you put it on these sides here so that it, when it rests on the top of this one it's not scratching it or anything of that nature. So you just want to put one on here, on this side here and then one right over here on this side here. So that that way, when those are sitting on there and uh, you move them around, it doesn't scratch the finish on here. What this is gonna look like. So that's what I'm talking about. You can either angle it a little bit, like I got here, so it's sitting kind of on an angle. You can have your monitors angled, or you can sit it straight like that and have it be straight. There's one for each side. And the cool thing is, add a channel here so that you could put like a cell phone or a tablet, and you can sit it in there and it'll kind of hold it upright. So that's kind of cool. I'll show you that. Once I have it all together, I'll show you how that works. This is those stands that I was talking about and like I said here's a tablet you can basically prop up your tablet there if you're reading something or whatever you can also put your cell phone in there and then our monitors are going to sit on top of here like so um, so they're kind of elevated here is the final piece of this whole thing that I'm doing here this is the pullout tray for your keyboard and your mouse it has these little clamps and those clamps will sit right here on the edge of the table you clamp it down it has drawer slides that mount on the bottom of it it's so it could slide in and out underneath the desk here. Step one is to mount these, these clamps onto the drawer slides and they've made it real easy for you. They've actually labeled left, left, and right, and right. This here is basically the back of the tray so that when you are got your keyboard and everything on there it won't slide off the back. I got my right right slide on and then also the clamp and I'll kind of show you how that went together. So this says left and this is the left and there's these two front holes, threaded holes, uh, take these little small screws. So you're going to take these and put them in there and then you're going to just basically screw those into here. Got one, and we'll get the other one in here. And the screws have a little bit of blue Loctite on the back side of them, so that'll kind of help from the help those screws from backing out. So this just sits on top there. And it just threads down in there like that. Uh, 
Uh, this is the keyboard tray that I was talking about. Here are the clamps, so these just kind of sit on the top. They got that rubber piece so it doesn't mar up your table, your desk here. There's enough room to hold a, a nice size keyboard and also your mouse. I really like the furniture that I've purchased from Bush Business Furniture. The step-by-step -step instructions are really easy to follow. All you need is some basic screwdrivers. We've got a link in the description below for ordering information. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you would use our links as we earn a small commission on your purchases at no cost to you. If you're new to our channel and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. And make sure to leave a comment so you can be part of the conversation. Until next time, see ya.